Hello, this is Mr. Pointless Bro, and defeat me you will not with this new Yoda deck. I was already on a 15 plus win streak of Yoda before, and then I wake up in the morning and I find out Yoda's gotten this huge buff, his uniquest buff, Yoda's characteristics is buffed. So here's the deck, pretty simple, I think Ezra does, a lot of Ezra decks do the same. You put the Bantha in the back, or whatever slow units, such as the Wookiee or the Pathfinders in the back, and then you let your slow push crawl up to the front, and then you jump in with Yoda to your opponent's turrets, and then basically suicide of Yoda. And Yoda is going to be great for doing this because he has a high damage per second, and his force attunement allows him to avoid a lot of attacks, 25% to be exact. And this gameplay is going to be with a level 5 Darth Vader, which I don't feel the difference, uh, the discrepancy between our levels too much because Yoda's gotten pretty strong. So I'm going to be looking to put my slower units at the back when my energy reaches the 10. And as soon as you get 10 energy, don't wait. Put your units in the back so you don't waste energy. And I'm not going to get too much of a chance to slow push. I have to defend because he's being very aggressive. Here's the best defense. Put your turret right, uh, this barely in front of your tower. And he should be supporting this ATSD because now that he's dead, my units can just go to town on it. And now I have a counter push with my units. And my units is a little bit vulnerable to AoE here, but he actually doesn't use AoE, so that's good for me. I'm just going to be slashing up on his tower. And if you notice here, I have 6 energy, so I'm going to be able to counter him with my Mace Windu as he comes in. So now that he's dead, I counter with Mace Windu. And this is pretty much a mistake by him, because Mace Windu, once he locks on the tower, he absolutely demolishes it. And of course, I'm now that my Yoda's almost dead, I'm going to suicide of Yoda just by attacking Vader, and using the best defense, and that is putting your turret just in front of your tower. And you see here, he is hesitating, he has to wait a little bit for his ATSC to come in before he can come in with Vader himself. So right now, since he's dead, I can counter him by putting Bantha and a couple of units on his right side of the tower. And right now, I should actually be using Yoda and using Yoda to slash up the right turret because his ATSD is already taking down my left tower. There's really no choice about that. And you see here, I'm going to be very energy effective. You always want to be very energy effective with any deck. I'm just going to take out these units with Yoda himself because Darth Vader is not supporting it. So I don't need to put any additional units on the map and this allows my slow push to be stronger. And important with this turret placement as well, when I want to support my slow push, instead of defending, I'm going to put this turret very uh, high up on the map so it can help support it. And right before I die with Yoda, this is great of Yoda, it's almost like leaving an eye on mine on a tower before you die. You soften up his push so that his units are not very strong. And Yoda is also very great at counter pushing. This is the same thing that happened with his left tower. I just slash it down with Mace Windu. And now I pretty much won the game. All I have to do is defend Darth Vader now. And I use pretty much the same defense. The tower right in front of the turret. And that is the best defense. And then the Wookiee in the front. And then the Pathfinders, I just put it... A little bit off to the side so that if you use a straight line AOE like the TIE Fighter, the Pathfinders won't get caught in the mix. And I'm just making sure right now that Dark Raider doesn't touch my tower at all so that I win the game. So from that game, you saw you can slow push with Yoda and Yoda's pretty, uh, Yoda has a pretty strong slow push. And the turret placement is very important. If you want to support your slow push, you put the turret right behind your slow push. If you need more defense, you want to put the turret next to your tower. And an important note to make, if you feel your opponent has a rocket trooper, and the rocket trooper might hit your tower, you're going to be putting the turret near the center of the map, and the turret uh, will redirect the rocket trooper's uh, fire, or the turret will even kill the rocket trooper for you. So if you see the rocket trooper, you can put it near the center of the map, right here near the lava. And as always, I'm going to be looking to build up a slow push. I have the Banta in my hand, so I put it up. And this is not very effective by him. He's using IG-88, 
which IG-88 is not going to take out any of my units because I haven't put anything down yet. And that's one thing about the Rebels, you want to be very careful as to how you place your units so they don't, don't get AOD'd very quickly. And this guy is defending very well. I pretty much hesitate right here whether to hit the tower with my Yoda or try to soften up his push. And he's getting a good counter push on me. And so I have to defend. I don't have my waste window up to defend yet, so I use the turret to defend. And <laughs> I can barely hold him off right here. He he kills me off again, so I just leave some Pathfinders there and use my special on him so he can't get off any damage on my tower. Which leaves an opportunity for him to split push me and use his light vehicle on my left tower. So he's pretty much ahead of the game right now. And I gotta catch up. Right now my Wookiee here is pretty much useless because it's just going to walk up and I can't support my Wookiee right now because the plan is to do a slow push, put the Bantha in the back or the Wookiee in the back. So I have really no choice but to let that Wookiee die and build up my slow push again. And he's, he's using a slim, similar tactic, slow pushing with the uh, do back. So now we're just letting both our units crawl to the center of the map and he has a lot of um, good level uh, Empire Epic cards, so I need to be careful with how I defend. And as always, how I defend is I put the Pathfinders uh, near the side of the map so they won't get caught by any AoE, and the turret right in front of my tower. As, as I'm defending this side of the map, I'm doing a slow push on my right side because he's very committed to pushing the left lane, so much so that he doesn't care about his right lane, which is a mistake by him because <laughs> He's already ahead of the game, he has more damage on my tower, so he should be looking to defend his side more often. So right here, we're just uh, he's taking out uh, the remainders of my Bantha, I'm taking out the remainder of his Dewback. As always, I build a very strong defense by putting a turret right next to my tower. And he's gonna be doing... And now I finally have enough energy to counter with a Mace Windu, so that's what I do. And then I put some Pathfinders right in front of my tower to defend the ATSD walker. And since this guy is very committed to pushing one side of, uh, of the map, I can counter him by doing a split push. I put my Bantha and my Wookiee, and both of them reach the tower. So at this point, there's nothing he can do. His tower is going to go down. Just to make sure, I use Yoda's ability and throw some heavy rocks at him. And there we go. Boss down. And as you're slow pushing with Yoda, this says that Yoda is about to die. It's great to use his ability uh, throwing rocks so you soften up his counter push or use an Ion Mine to also soften his, up his counter push. And as always, the turret, is, turret placement is very important for your defense, dealing with the Rocket Trooper and also his counter push. And there we go. This is the Yoda deck. Peace.